beautiful people and welcome back to Toya CTV. I'm back with episode 13, which is Michelle's last episode. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I, I, I don't want them to kill her off. She better go out with a bang or something. Oh, but anyway, uh, let's talk about last episode. I probably put the time that the reaction starts because I might be talking a little long. So let's get right into the recap okay first of all rest in peace to the hilltop lord the hilltop is gone it's burnt to ashes <laughs> when did hilltop come about about season five i think but yes rest in peace to hilltop all right so rest first the first death was gamma or mary aka gamma I wanted her to be around a little longer because it seemed like, you know, she was kind of redeeming herself. She, uh, you know, she saw her nephew. She told uh, Father Gabriel and them that she killed her sister for Alpha and she knew it was wrong. And I kind of wanted her to stay around a little longer to redeem herself a little more. But that damn beta freaking killed her off. Lord, uh, and um, and he when Beta killed somebody, he killed them. Like, you are for real dead. Like, he split her up. Oh, and then when he did that, the one of the whispers like, "It is you." I thought I recognized your voice. So some of y'all in the comments were saying that he's a country singer on Walking Dead, but in the comics he was an NBA player. So I hope they elaborate on that more. I hope we get kind of more of a backstory to to Beta of him being a country singer of, and then how he got to where he is. We saw the part where he was, I guess that was a mental institution where him and Alpha met. But I want them to kind of elaborate on when he was a celebrity. Ugh. But yes. And then Alden killed uh, Mary so she wouldn't be Oh, Walker with the Whisperers. So, but Beta, he took off when uh, Alden was shooting. <laughs> he was like, you ain't about to kill me. <laughs> and then, next death, rest in peace, Earl. Oh, that one was so hard. I mean, I knew Earl was probably going to die because episode before, and I think 10, no, just 11. He was getting too much screen time. And you know, in pure Walking Dead fashion, if you haven't been on the screen that much, you've just been behind the scenes and in the back and had one line or two, if you got a lot of scenes, that means you're about to die. <laughs> in Walking Dead fashion, that's what happened. Oh, but, and poor Judith. Oh my gosh. She, this is the episode where she had her first two human kills so or a hu one human kill and one walker where she knew the person so the first one was the whisperer at the battle i'm about to say the battle went to fail <laughs> the battle at hilltop and then earl oh poor thing she going through the same thing that carl went through oh at, at around that same age oh poor thing she made me tear up talking to Earl before he did the do, which was slam his head against that state. Oh my gosh. But, you know, Judith is a little badass and she's going to continue to be a badass. And I hope they, I don't know if, I don't know how they're going to do RJ, but because he's so little, I need him to be slicing and dicing like Judith because his mom and dad is Rick and Michonne. <laughs> and then the last death of that episode good god almighty rest in hell <laughs> not rest in peace but rest in hell alpha <laughs> i gotta say this and i said this before samantha morton did the damn thing playing alpha she played that character i guess to the t as the comics i don't know but the way she played that she bodied that like she was batshit crazy as Alpha. And her facial expressions. 
She had no care in the world. She would kill you. You say one thing wrong. Samantha Morton played that part. And me not knowing the comics, Negan killing her was a surprise. I wanted Carol to kill her, but Negan killing her was all his plan. And I kind of knew he had a plan from the beginning. But him killing her and then cutting her head off, Ooh, and then I think he kind of liked her. I think he kind of, she kind of reminded him of his wife because you know the ball thing, and his wife went through cancer and lost all her hair. So I guess he had a liking to her because of that, not because she was batshit crazy, but because of that aspect. And then he cut her head off and freaking gave it to Carol. And Carol said, "Took you long enough." And that means, like I said at the end of my last reaction, Carol let him out and they had a plan. Now, I saw the trailer to episode, not 13, but 14, 14, or was it this one? Where he said, I kept my end of the bargain, so now it's time for you to keep yours. What the hell is her end of the bargain? I'm scared. Oh. She better not do nothing crazy. But my only thing is, if you had a plan with Negan for Negan to kill Alpha, why were you doing all that dumb shit like the cave and um trying and running to the cave and trying to do the dynamite to blow up the horde and everything else? Like, was I guess Negan was taking too long for her. She was like, Negan is taking too long. I'm gonna have to do this myself. So I'm like, Carol, you should have just been patient and, and Magna wouldn't have been in that situation. Connie, which I hope, ugh, they better, Connie better not be dead. Oh, and Connie wouldn't have been through that situation. You wouldn't put all these people's lives in danger. Hilltop wouldn't have burned up, but yeah. Oh, Lord. This show, this, I don't, this season, I've been telling people that have stopped watching Walking Dead. I'm like, no, you need to go back and watch because it got good again because people were complaining. I had no problems with it, even though I did stop watching it for a minute when I knew Carl was going to die. But I, I, after I got over there, I went ahead and watched it and watched the rest. But I keep telling people, go and watch from wherever you left off and keep watching because it gets better because this season has has been good the second half has been spectacular like every episode is like your anxiety is on high you like what the hell is about to happen somebody help me <laughs> but anyway all right enough talking if this is your first time watching go ahead and hit that subscribe button all right all, all right go ahead and hit that notification bell as well it's going to be somewhere up here and well not for you to click but you know go ahead and hit that notification bell give me a thumbs up and yeah follow your girl on at on instagram at her styles with a z one five now it is for my business which i'm a natural hairstylist but you could watch my stories my stories be my everything everyday life going working out doing all that stuff but anyway like i said enough talking let me take another deep breath. This is Michonne's last episode. Oh, deny. We're going to miss you, girl. All right. So, let's get right into it. Let me get my girl ready. Got my smoothie. Jesus. Don't make it be too bad. All right. Let's get right into it. Why food like that? Oh, he's stalling. He's starting to baby. Got herbs and teas for everything. Oh, he's stalling. Hey. Nerves, sleep. How about focus and speed? <laughs> those whisper folks really got you perfectly now. Very treasure in the Uh-uh, where silence. the people at? I see clothes hanging. Get them not to close me up the thing Group one. Inside. Oh. Yes, Michonne, get ready. You can do the stuff. Take it out. I remember one time. Stop the bullshit. That's right. Where the hell is your 
meant it. Oh! I promised her when we got married. What? It was every day. How are you gonna wait till now to tell me this? Oh. Sheba! Hi! What? Your family in there? Woo! Ooh, that walk up. Ooh, that makeup. <gasps> Woo, look at all them back there. Oh, hell, they trapped! I'm gonna show him you gotta go slicing and dicing. Dude, you better get a knife or something to help. Yes, Michonne. Show him what you got. Oh, Lord, is he gonna. Oh, no! Is he gonna get bent? Michonne, go help him. Oh, Lord, is he gonna get bent? Is he gonna get bent? Is he gonna get bent? There she go. Slicing and dicing. Oh, fight Michonne. Are they up there? Oh, is that his wife's shoe? Oh no! Oh no! She don't need that, sir. Some of the buildings aren't safe. Mm-mm. Could we do this in the morning? Mm-mm. We can do it. First thing. I don't trust him. Something, something is fishy. Yeah, Michelle, stay awake. All night if you have to. I don't like this darkness. Something can jump out at any minute. That is somebody talking. Oh, <gasps> somebody behind him! Oh, that's him. Virgil! Wait until morning. I told you it wasn't safe. Virgil, open the damn door. I trusted you. Virgil. And you ruined. Oh, she gonna have to kill you. Virgil, I knew something was shady about him. Something, I knew something wasn't right. Michonne. Oh. You took the knife. Girl, you sleeping too hard. You should have heard the door opening and everything. Okay. Whole place is booby trapped. What does it mean? How often do we come around? As little as possible. He doesn't like to see us. Oh my God! What? Les and I were researchers with Virgil. A what? His wife and kids were inside. Oh. Dang. So he snapped. He snapped. Mm hmm. It's never the same. We've been in here ever since. Oh. I can't do that. Why the hell not? Because you'll kill me. I know you. Why did you bring her here? We raped what we stole, asshole. I don't want to fight. What? I don't want you to understand. What in the hell? Did he drug her? What in the world? Did he drug? Oh my god, he drugged her. Oh my 
god, two, three, oh! What? Oh my god. This is what would happen if she would have left Andrea. Oh, now she's the guy that they left. What episode was that? When they saw the guy on the side of the road and he was like, help. And then he started running. And they got in the car and left him. Oh my gosh. You and your big old massive lady nuts. <laughs> Even if Besides, her drug and douche dream, Negan, is hilarious. I saw her no strength to use it. Now she know that's a dream. Negan gave her sword back and then gave her apple. Dave's Navy, Dave's Navy. Next part myself. You see my right hand gal, Michelle Shell Shell. She's on a wicked ass terror these days, and who the hell am I to stand in her way? Why is she dreaming that she's on the opposite end of this? We did this. What happens next? Oh, trailer. It's your fault. She's talking Welcome to the new world. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why are they doing a show like this on the last episode? Okay, is this for real? Is this for real? Is this for real? Is this for real? He got caught. Oh, he did rescue them. But is this for real? Is this for real? Oh, shit. He done burned up the boat. Don't kill him, Michonne. Michonne! He drugged you and trapped you in the room. Get something. What? Please. Bump that, Michonne. He brought you to an island and locked you up and drugged you. Oh. Okay. Michonne, look behind you. He might close this door. Oh. Okay, she's getting us up. <gasps> Are those red boots? Are those red boots? Oh my god, my god, my god, oh my god. Oh Where the hell did you get these? Oh my god, oh my god, she found red boots? What is that? A cell phone? What world? Oh! That's my son and Judith! Did he draw that? Oh my god! Did she see a thing? Holy shit. That's you. Oh, it says Rick! And the kid? Oh my gosh! You knew. Oh my gosh! You came to find us at Oceanside. What? Oh, oh. Why would I do that? Because of this! I have never seen that before in my life. I swear. 
anything at all. Mom. Is he alive? <laughs> I, I don't know. Baby, it's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't Judith, know. don't cry, baby. But if you think he's alive, then you have to go find him. You're okay. Oh, Judith, you're such a big girl. I you more. What if he's trying to come home too, but no one will help? Oh. I love you and your brother so much. Oh, oh Lord. I love you too, Mom. Oh. Go get him. Oh. oh. <laughs> Judith. Oh. You're such a big, brave girl. And mature. And you know what the deal is. <laughs> Woo! They gonna let her go out like she came in with the two walkers. Can you help us? Don't leave without us. Ooh. What do y'all see? What do y'all see? Oh boy. A whore is on wherever she at. Who won't wake me up? Oh God, why they do me like that? That's Rick at the jail. Should we over? Wait, was that not a whore? I'm confused. Who are you? So it, that's not a horn? What is that? Please show what that is because I thought it was a horn. Oh, what is that? Like, army? What was that? Was that like an army? Oh my gosh. All right, folks. So that was episode 13. I'm just glad they did not kill her off she's off to go find rick and whatever that was at the end i don't know was that troops i don't know but this episode was crazy with the whole drugs and virgil being shady and uh, i'm sad to see the night go but she's had a good run and like i said i'm glad they did not kill her off maybe she'll come back in the future because there's two more seasons of the walking dead um uh, I, that, that was it you guys oh michelle come back <laughs> but anyway you guys so that was it if you made it to the end of this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up if you like my reaction go ahead and comment what you thought about this episode um and where 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 is she going 
is it towards Commonwealth? Because she saw something that said New Jersey. Is that where Commonwealth is? I don't know. But anyway, that's it, you guys. So, I will see you on the next one. This one was more calm than last episode. Alright, bye. <laughs>